Hi, third graders. I'm going to go through your directions for science for the day, and you need th these three materials in front of you. So if you don't have them ready, I want you to go get them. Pause the video to do so. You need your Animal Kingdom book. It's a little book that's been in your bag. You need your blue science packet, and you need your crayons. Okay, so pause the video to go get these items. All right, when you're ready to go, here's what you're going to be doing today. In your science packet, there are a couple different projects. We are going to animal antics. So I'm going to flip, 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 and here it is, animal antics. Our key question today says, how do scientists classify animals? Students will sort animals into their appropriate classifications in the animal kingdom. All right, I'm going to show you what that looks like for your project on the back of this page. After you read through your key question and learning goal, I want you to read this book, The Animal Kingdom. And you might notice the subheading down here, vertebrates and invertebrates. Hmm, sound familiar if you watched the Bill Nye the Science Guy and did your vertebrate and invertebrate sort, right? So that's why it was very important to get that done before you do this. You are going to read this book <clears throat> all on your own, and you are going to le learn a little bit more about vertebrates and invertebrates, but then also different groups of vertebrates. Mammals, birds, fish, reptiles, and amphibians are all vertebrates. All right, in the center page here, here's a great list that's really going to help you with your independent part of this. <clears throat> then you're going to read the groups of invertebrates, annelids, echinoderms, mollusks, and arthropods. Those are different types of invertebrates. Okay, so you need to read through this whole book on your own. This is yours, so if you want to highlight and underline or circle anything, you can. Do your best with all the science vocabulary. You can use context clues um, and do your best with chunking through words if you're stuck on something. All right. When you're done reading the book, you are going to come back to this packet here. And the next two pages behind the learning goal look like this. There's a classifying animals page and then there's a page with all these different animals on it. Well, you are going to color code the animals on this page. So it says color the mammals blue, color the fish yellow, color the birds red. Sorry, let me get my crayons here. Uh, I have my red ready, so I'm going to just use this like here. I use this. It's kind of a red. Okay. Color the reptiles brown, color the amphibians green, color the annelids purple, color the mollusks pink, color the arthropods orange, and color the echinoderms gray. I don't have gray, so I'm just going to do like a light black. All right. Now, your answers are all going to be in this book. That's why it's important to read this first. This is why you can highlight if you'd like or circle and underline. So you'll read about mammals, birds, fish, reptiles, and amphibians here, which are your first five you need to color. Then towards the back, you'll read about the annelids, mollusks, arthropods, and echinoderms. So try and do it on your own. If you're totally stuck though, look at what we have here. We have this perfect list in front of us. So a butterfly, I remember a butterfly is an invertebrate, but I'm not sure which one it is. Hmm, so I'm going to look and see if I find butterflies here. Well, I don't see the word butterfly, but I know a butterfly is an insect, insect, which is an arthropod. So I'm going to look in arthropods, I need to color orange. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to shade this in to make it orange. All right, lobster. I saw a lobster. I also know they're in an invertebrate. So when I go through and I look for a lobster, oh, I found it. It's another arthropod. So I'm going to color it orange. 
Okay. Let's do one more together. A spider. Hmm. A spider is another arthropod. All right. And you know what? I'll do one more since these are all the same. How about a turtle? A turtle I know has a backbone, so it's a vertebrae. So let's find turtle. Oh, I know a turtle's a reptile. A reptile is brown. So I'm going to color the turtle brown. So you're going to go through this whole page, and you are going to color code all of these animals. So you're going to use this list here to help you color it in here. You can refer back to this page as much as you need to, but make sure you read the whole book first, okay? If you would like to send me a picture when you're done, you can ask parents to send it to me on Remind. I would love to see it.